As part of a special series, we're speaking to leaders of different political parties in the UK to find out what they think about issues like the cost of living crisis. Well, today we hear from the First Minister of Scotland and leader of the Scottish National Party, Nicola Sturgeon. Take a look. Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, everybody. First Minister of Scotland, Nicola Sturgeon, thank you so much for joining us thank you. on Newsround today. It's a pleasure to be here. How do you feel about facing young Terrified. people? Terrified. <laughs> <laughs> the questions from young people are always the hardest questions that I ever face, so I'm sure it's going to be no different today. OK, well, on that note, Kevin, do you want to ask your question to the First Minister? Go for it. How has the cost of living crisis affected your household? Well, Kevin, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that Somebody like me in the job I do, which is, you know, paid well by comparison to lots of people across the country, I'm experiencing the cost of living crisis in the same way that many other people are, because I think if I was to pretend that that was the case, you would look at me and think, mm, are you sure? Nevertheless, and, and the other admission I have to make here straight up is that my husband does most of the shopping in my household, so, um, but you know, he, notices like everybody else does the way things are going up in price in the supermarkets and I see the pressures in your know, people I live next to I see it in you know friends I've got I see it in my wider family why are Scottish produce prices rising so rapidly they're rising across many parts of the world because of the the different factors that are, that are at play um, around rising energy costs. Some of that is down to what's happening in Ukraine with, with the war. There's other factors at play there as well. In Scotland and the UK, Brexit's also had an impact because it has disrupted the supply chain. Do you guys know what Brexit food, is? What it leaving means? the European Union. Sorry, I'm doing that terrible politician thing of <laughs> using, you know, phrases and, and assuming everybody knows what what they mean. But because we've left the European Union, something Scotland didn't want to do, uh, the pressure on food supply chains has also meant that prices have gone up. How will this crisis affect people with a disability? For example, my mum, who is MS, and half of her bodies went numb with the stress this has put on her. Zoe, that's a, a very important question. We're trying and everything we're doing to try to help through the social security system in Scotland, how the health service is operating. We're trying to take account of the fact that people with disabilities are probably struggling even more. Zoe, you're, you were saying your mum then, she's she's very anxious. Does it impact you on your schoolwork, perhaps? Mm, in my mum's condition, it makes me feel a wee bit sad yeah. and worried about her. You're obviously really brave and strong, Zoe, but I can see the worry in your face and hopefully you're getting all the, the support and your mum's getting all the support that is out there for her, but um, she's very lucky to have you uh, looking out for her. We know that in Scotland, something like 73% of children have been getting access to mental health services within the 18-week period. Um, but your target was 90% of children, so, so the Scottish Government aren't quite no, we're reaching that target at the moment. And especially after Covid, children being anxious yeah. more than ever, why are the Scottish Government not reaching that target? Well, we are more young people are accessing uh, mental health services, uh, more have been accessing them within the the target, but because demand, for all the reasons we understand, is going up, that percentage is not yet where we, we need it to be. We're investing a lot in mental health services, doing things like uh, putting counsellors in all secondary schools, for example, so that there's much earlier support for people who maybe just need somebody to talk to. Ewan, you've got a question. Let us know what it is. What advice would you give people trying to live through the crisis? Thanks, Ewan, uh, for that question. The, the government tries to give a lot of very practical advice to people, so you know, you might have seen some adverts on television, you, you will see them online. The first thing we can do is make sure that everybody is actually getting all of the help that they need. So, you know, if, if a, a family is entitled to the Scottish Child Payment, for example, we try to make sure there is plenty of information out there so that they know where to go to apply and, and get that help. So I think that very practical advice is the most important thing we can do. Eva, what's your question for the First Minister? Are things going to get worse in 2023? Oh, Eva, that is a really good question. And I... Things are going to be tough, I think, in 2023. And, and I could sit here and 
and do that politician thing of telling you what you want to hear. No, things are going to be fine and they're going to get better. I think they will continue to be difficult um, because some of what we've been talking about here uh, isn't just going to suddenly disappear. Inflation is over 10% just now. For the last you know, number of years, it's been around 2%. So that shows you what's causing the cost of living crisis. The projections for next year is that that's going to start to come down a bit again. Now, not back down to 2% but start to come down. So that hopefully will ease the cost of living pressures a little bit. First Minister, thank you so much for your time. What did you think of the questions? And they're brilliant. The and uh, what I said at the outset is absolutely the case that the best questions come from young people. <laughs> but your questions were absolutely brilliant. Absolutely amazing questions, guys. Now, you can watch the whole interview right now on our website. That's also where you'll find more on what other political parties across the UK think should be done about the cost of living crisis.